Rabbi, when camest thou hither? Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but labor for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. What shall we do that we might work the works of God? This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. What sign shewest thou then, that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven. But my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Lord, evermore give us this bread. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we knew? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me, except the Father which hath sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the law of the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness, and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof, and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. And he that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me. And I in him as the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and the dead. 
He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. This isn't a hard saying. Who can hear it? Doth this offend you? What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But I said unto you, there are some of you that believe not. Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. Will ye also go away? Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Have I not chosen you twelve? And one of you is a devil.